Welcome. So what I have here is I have m plus 2 is less than or equal to 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve this inequality and then represent the solution on a graph. So the first thing to do when looking at inequalities is we're going to treat them very similar as far as the solving them as the operations if it was an equation. I remember when solving equations, we use inverse operations to isolate our variable. So since I'm adding a 2 to my n, I'm now going to subtract a 2 on both sides. And then I have n would equal positive 2. So for an inequality, we're going to use the exact same inverse operations. However, the inequality symbol represents something a little bit different than the equation symbol, which we'll talk about in a second. So first thing, I'll use my inverse operation. So I have n is less than or equal to 2. Now you notice me, I already said it. When we say the equation symbol, that means n equal to 2. This inequality symbol means n is less than or equal to 2. So that means our solution can be 2, or it can be any number that's less than 2. So therefore, we're going to use a graph, a simple line graph, to represent this solution. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll start with 2 here, and then I'll go in the positive direction, which would be 1 to 0. What am I doing? 1, not that direction, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then numbers that are less than 2 would be 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So we said that our um, solution can be 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle. And then since it can equal 2, I'm going to shade this dot in. Now, it could also be 1. It could also be 0. It could be negative 1. So I can make all these big dots if I wanted to. But then you notice that there's actually infinite many solutions. Because I could do 1.1, 1.112. You can pick all these decimal numbers and fractions that are going to be less than 2. They'll still be a solution. So rather than dotting in all these possible solutions, we're just going to have a shaded line and say, you know what? As long as the numbers are going to the left, it's going to make my solution true. So therefore, that will be the graph of our solution. Thanks.